you. Honorable Benani. Now, honorable, honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, this is a very important motion. It is timely that we need to reflect as a civilization on how far we have come. We support the thrust of the motion to discuss national reconciliation. We might technically, technically disagree on the best way on how to address it, whether it's through a commission or or public hearings or what have you. But the thrust of the motion is supported by us because of the following reasons. When we lead, and when one leads, one should never be disingenuous about the reality of a society or a country that once leads. How can we not discuss the effective implementation of the policy of national reconciliation if we, at various intervals of our social, political lives, we complain about it. One, tribalism. What has brought our country to become one of the most tribalistic countries? 30 years after independence, political formations, political contestation at this point in time in our country. We are coming from a very brutal 2019 election that had inherent characteristics of tribalism. So if we are saying let's not talk about national reconciliation and let's not evaluate it, we are being disingenuous. The very reason that some political parties would say this is a time for a, a Herero, a non-Herero, a nano Shiwambo president, it's because of, of, of a policy that has not taken root in our country. So let, let us not be disingenuous when we disagree with the motives of people, we agree with, we, we disagree with reality. Tribalism in this country is a problem that needs to be confronted. The other day, Honorable Jerry Ekanjo and myself and other members of this, on this side of the aisle, we're talking about the need to have student exchange programs between our students to send our students that are living in, in, in Wakanas to go to Okashuru, a student of Wakanas to go to Korihas, for us to cross that lines and to learn each other's culture. National harmony. We, we are 30 years struggling with a national identity of Namibia. The president bemoans this fact. He, he, the current president always talks about when do we create a Namibian song. The only songs that we have in Namibia are tribal. It's either uh, uh, a Damara song or Herrera song or a Shuambo song or this song. When do we have that national identity as, as one country. The ruling party that is now being disingenuous today about this motion is the one that is proffering an idea of bringing Kiswahili as part of the curriculum. Why, are you, why do you want to bring Kiswahili, a foreign language, as part of the curriculum? Because of our own inherent failures that we have not united our country into a national identity. So national, national reconciliations, re-evaluation is critical and very and very important for, for, for an advancement of any social order of our country. Colleagues, why are we being disingenuous when we know that apartheid has not been dismantled in its current, apartheid has been dismantled through legislation, but apartheid lives amongst us. Now, make a comparison. How is it possible that a nation such as the United States of America, that is a democracy of over 200 years, is struggling with, with racism? And you are saying a country that has 30 years, has closed that chapter, we should move forward, while America today is battling 200 years after independence with racism. We can't be a nation that is disingenuous with the truth. And that was Honorable Swartboy spoke about cognitive dissonance. dissonance. That we, we deny things that are happening in front of our faces. How do we address national reconciliation in a broader scheme of things while the rest of the population is living on the western banks of Kadutura with no electricity, with no housing, and you are saying no national reconciliation, we have made, 
we have made progress on national reconciliation and therefore we are rejecting this motion. We can't be a society that speaks against, coming from the right honorable prime minister of this house, who must underscore and understand. Yes, we, we boycotted the land conference because of, of the policy of national reconciliation that you were hiding farms. You were hiding the farm of Sardaro. The very purpose that we boycotted the national, the, the policy of national, uh, the, the land conference was because you were hiding that you have donated farms, four farms, to Sardarov, a Russian oligarch, a billionaire. That is how you do. And some of your ministers, Honorable, right Honorable Prime Minister, are being seen hunting on Sardarov farm and they are friends of Sardarov. We are going to meet in court. We are going to meet in court over the case of Sardarov. Because no way in the history of society can one donate something and then still own it. It defeats the purpose of donation. Apparently, Sardarov donated 100 million, and therefore, on that basis, he now is resettled for a period of 100 years. And that is the reason why we must educate and re-educate ourselves on the policy of national reconciliation. What do we bequeath to future generations of Namibia if we are giving our land to those that own billions of dollars in their own countries, and they come and own our country for a period of 100 years? So, when we are discussing this motion, Honorable Iambo, the issue is we need to unpack our social class order. For as long as ShopRite, OK Bazaar, and all these multinationals of South Africa are taking the space of ordinary shopkeepers, we must discuss national reconciliation. Because every Namibian citizen who is at the receiving end of his lot would question that. We have made these concessions. But are these concessions working in our interest? Now you are talking about, quite correctly saying... Is, is that a point of order? That's a friend of Sarkar. Mm -hmm. Can you put, 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 yes. Could you put in the mic? The mic. That's a friend of Sarkar. It's a man who gave our farms away. So, Comrade Speaker, I just want to... Be, because... In this house, there is this tendency of distorting history, uh, which is distorting history. I just want to be, to be on the record that the, the very gentleman, the Honorable Venene that is speaking, the, his party is a creature of apartheid. Uh. They were fighting against the Swapo party, supported okay. while we were fighting. Uh. Okay. This party and Kufu were together. Okay. Okay. DM, PDM, DTA. Thank you. Thank you. Thing. Thank you. 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 So stop distorting history. Thank you. Honorable. I don't, uh, continue, the, the, please. The honorable gentleman is always mendacious with facts. DTA unbundled apartheid in this country through legislation. 6th of June, 6 of June, 1979. We brought, when you, came from, when you came from exile, you were living in Pioneer's Park, where there was... So please, okay. we have, the legislations that I'm talking about are still in the statute books of this country. Uh, okay, okay. Right, Honorable Utoni Nuyoma, you cannot, okay. you cannot okay. educate okay. us okay. today. You are okay, okay, let's, let's, let's calm down, let's calm down. It's at a point of order. Please, please, let's listen to each other. Let's listen to each other. Swapo is Oppo. Yes. The point of order. Okay, okay. The please, order, 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 order. Let's, let's listen to each other. The point of order. Deputy, Deputy Speaker. Order. Yeah. No, please, order. I thought you are a continental, you know, politician. You are chairing a committee on uh, trade at the Pan-African Parliament. Of course. And you are aware that uh, one of the language spoken by Pan-African Parliament as organ of AU is Swahili. Mm -hmm. Are you against the introduction of Swahili in, in Namibia? Let me explain to you. Why? I thought you could have said in addition. In okay. addition. Thank you. Thank you.
It's, 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 no, please don't clap no, for things please, that are not even Let's listen to each other now. No, don't, don't make clapping a, a mockery. Please, please. Don't make clapping a mockery. Don't make clapping a mockery. Yeah. Of course. They have, been, they have been clapping like that until Namibians okay, realize that okay, they are okay. clapping no longer helps the people of this country. Order. Let's listen to now, each let other. let me explain to you. Let's Kiswahili, listen to each other. Kiswahili is an African language spoken by some Africans. Right? Hausa is also a language spoken by some Nigerians. Now, the minute when you are saying, for you to unite your country, you must bring Hausa as an African language, to unite your country, then you have a problem because in your own country you have languages. Why can't we speak Namaka? What is it? What is the correct word? That word. That word. That word. Yes, of course. Yes. Oh, oh, Oshindonga. Oh, Oshirero. Oh, 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 or any other country or any other language. The mere fact that the mere fact that you want us to speak is Swahili. It's an inherent failure of our own languages to unite us. That is, that is the context that I'm raising. Of course, I'm a, I'm a Pan-Africanist and I believe in, a, believe in the ethos of Pan-Africanism. So please, those that are distorting history are the ones that are only teaching us that the history of this country has only started in 1960. Those that are teaching, you know who they are. So let, I don't want to go to... The, yeah, of course, this is what you want. This party has nothing to offer. All they have to offer is the, the mistakes of Kaura and all those that have become their partners now. That is all that you have to offer. We are offering the future. The future, the future is, the future is, we must address national reconciliation because those that took the levers of power are abusing the levers of power by looting this country. And that is why today you have created two classes. A class of um, politicians and parliamentarians owning the fishing concessions and a class of fish fishermen that are un unemployed on the benches of, of, of Lutherans and, and, and Wolfis Bay. We are perpetuating a class society because we are not addressing the value of economic, economic prosperity for all the people of this country. Point of order. Honorable Venani, would you allow me to ask you a question? Was it not Honorable Utoni Noyama who stood up in this house to say, Swapo ran out of ideas? <laughs> Look, I don't want to make the matter personal, but the man was already on. <laughs> on international television saying how tired they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can try to correct himself a million times, I'll just bring him the tape and his words would be there. Uh, I'm still... That, on the point of information, can you, can, you, can you take care of the mic? I, I was on the record of saying this, this, this South African create, creation type of things are always quick to, to distort. Uh, that is a distortion, Honorable. Uh, you will just, you. you survive by distortion. Let's, let's leave it at that. Survive by honorable, distortion. Honorable. I just, I really want, I want you to, to go back to, yeah. Focus. Yeah. You see, the minute when your lies becomes the truth, it will never become true. Now you can clap hands for a million times. This man is on audio, on record, having said that. Now whether you are saying he did not say, the record speaks otherwise. And this is, and this is the problem with, this, with, the, with, the, with the party that has, that has become the looting machinery of this country. The problem is that Is that a point of order? Can I ask a question, Honorable Speaker? I am an elected member of this House who has got the right to rise and ask the question. 
We need to respect each other in this house. Oh, yes. this Honorable Venani, can I ask you a very short question, please? Mm -hmm. please? I just wanted to find out, in the media, there was this Venani who was flashing money over a car. Oh, very good. Yes, very good. Is that part of the looting? Yeah. I just wanted to ask, do you, do you know him? Yes, how, how, or how did you intervene to educate him mm. in place of how to, because I think it was the very government, he was offered a tender, mm. I'm not disputing. Thank you. It was a tender that he was offered. Yeah? All I'm asking is, my question is. Thank you. My question, Are you my question simply is, my question simply is, what, Can what we, he has done in interviewing to educate him in terms of spending that money thank you. properly, because it, it was definitely Thank you. Looting. The question is clear. When I please call, continue. Please, please, please. The record, this is a house of record, my dear Maureen Hinda Buende. This is a house of record, and Hansards are there to exonerate me. The person that you saw in the newspaper was not my brother. Listen, 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 listen. I, I, I. No, okay, okay, okay. Okay, sit down, sit down. Okay, thank you. Thank, sit down, sit down. Thank, no, no, you, you are, you are, co you are correcting. No, we have taken note. You, you, make, make for the mic. Wait for the mic. Yes. Thank you very much. Honorable Speaker, I would ask Honorable Benani to withdraw his allegation against me. I was very selective in my words. I have not alleged. Can you listen? I have not alleged that he is any relative of his. I said the name of the person. No, 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 no. Thank you. Honorable Thank you. Speaker, Thank you. no. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, can I have the floor? Yes, you are can done. Can I have the floor? You are done. No, I'm not done. I'm not what is, done. What is the issue? I am not done. Honorable Speaker, can I have the floor? I, I need to hear what people are saying. Yes. Please, the level of noise must go down. It's the only way for us to, cut, to understand each other. The point, let me repeat. I want you to sit down, please. Yeah. Um, this conversation is not going anywhere. Absolutely, we should look within ourselves and question, what is it that we are conveying to the public? First of all, there must be order. That is the primary. That absolutely, without order, we cannot have a conversation. Secondly, the, the, your point of order was that you referred to someone who was flashing money, but, but when, let, let, let me just say this. But you did not refer whether that person was related to the Honorable Venani. Is that it? Okay. Okay. So, so there was... No, let me... Can I just finish? Can I just finish? And the point here... The point is that you felt the Honorable Benani responded to the question as if you were implying the person was related to him. Is that it? Huh? Okay. I'll, I think, I think you have made your point. Have you? Okay. Come, come back. Let, let me hear you. Wait for the mic. You went very low and I will hit you very hard. Wait for the mic. Now we mention Can you switch off your mic? Okay. Honorable Speaker, when I took the floor and can the when I took the floor, I said there was a Venani that was in the papers that was doing this and this. Did the person do, does he know the person? Did he engage him? That is what I said. I did not okay. imply that he is a okay. brother. So I want him to go on record okay. to withdraw 
There are alleged Th abuses. Thank rather. you. Thank you. Mm. Honorable Bernard, please. And I don't, the Honorable Speaker, with all due respect, the Honorable Member is going on like a political hooligan. You, you have made an assertion that there was, there was a Venani. So you are touching to the family of the Honorable Member. Yeah, of course. Because now, now that if one Venani made us, then all the Venanis are murderers. Now let me answer you because the answer will exonerate me. The person that was in the newspaper splashing the money, the person was not my brother. But the money, the money belonged to my brother. Now let me tell you, when my mother died, she died very young and she said, Can you know, Kiri? McHenry, when I go, look after your siblings. Now as a person that was given that honor by my late mother, I went to my brother and I told him that do not flaunt wealth, it's un African. And it is not a new thing. It, was, it is in the handsets of this house and I've answered it. The president even during the 2014 campaign made a joke about it politically. And I answered him that it is not only my brother, but his own girlfriend. Then it was, the first lady was the girlfriend of the president. And I answered that. So let's not go to families because I know some of you are having proxies of your own families stealing this country bankrupt. Let's not go there. Let's talk about national reconciliation. As an elder, as an elder, corruption is with you. At the point of order, at the point of order. Wait for, for the mic. We are all politicians here. If you want to politicking and propagating, we can do that, all of us. If, you, if the motion was brought here, in Malafide, we can also respond in that. Inform your colleague. The Comrade Speaker, colleague the, the Speaker on the floor alleged that Suwapo has become a looting machinery. And you want, you, want you want you to withdraw that. Suwapo has not become Suwapo has not become a looting machinery. Has Suwapo looted your house? Yes, Swapo, look Honorable at Benani, me. please. I, I, no, he want, he I, must withdraw. I, I, I feel we withdraw. are already getting out of order. Yeah, this is a bit too much. Let's, con let's con concentrate on the issue. Let's concentrate on national reconciliation. And I will not but, withdraw it. I, no, no, I, no, no, I will, I will check. Uh, wait a minute. There are, things, there are things that I need to check on the records. Tomorrow when we come here, I'm going to precisely tell you what should be withdrawn, what should not be withdrawn. Please continue. On the most important issues that take our children from this level and elevate them to a country. I, I want to talk about the Futuro because we are the party of the future. Honorable members, please do not educate do not educate a person that was born. Tara, you are the speaker. Sit down. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. You're asking me that. I'm the deputy saying, speaker, are you speaking on the point of order? This is why we are saying you are biased. Now you want to try to help someone. Can you put on your mic, please? My question. Okay. Uh, your statement you have, I should think you also stated during the budget debate of um, to ensure that. Uh, the future generation become uh, nationalistic, we must exchange, you know, students or young ones from Aheke to Omarara, for example. Did you do that as PDM? Did you do that within your party? Uh, because Omarara, <laughs> let his soul rest in peace, uh, uh, Honorable Late Mongo, is one of um, the the the, 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 the the senior member of uh, DTA, now PDM. Did you start as a policy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen any of oh, no, speaking no, no, in Omarara. Thank you. I, I want honorable member, please, let's focus on the subject. I, I think I want to focus on the subject. There is only the members that are trying to derail me. Because they thought that when their prime minister finishes a statement here, then then it's all no no please all all, all in order. 
Yeah. Now, now let me tell you right, Honorable Prime Minister. When you are educating children, Wayauri, Naritungwe, and all our children, please tell them the truth. I have not seen a lame, the most lamest excuse for a government to argue that actually we are giving services to everybody. My friend, even the apartheid government was giving services to black people. Yes. Even, 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 yeah, me, even, I, on the even point people that were fighting for independence were the working for the apartheid government. For point Come of on, order. Honourable Speaker, on a point I'm of not order. Saying that, but people were working under apartheid. Honourable yes, Speaker. No, 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 no. Let's, let's listen to each other. Even Sam Nyoma used to work for Transnami under apartheid. Okay, let's listen to each other. Honorable Speaker, on a point of order, the Honorable Member is misrepresenting facts. The government has not said that it has provided services to all the people. If that was so, we would not have plans to address challenges. The reason why we have plans, and the President announced in the SONA, that in the aftermath of Harambe, there is going to be another strategic plan in addition to the NDPs that are there. That is an acknowledgement that there are still challenges to be addressed and that we will continue to put in, pla in place programs to address those okay. challenges. So I think they take every issue and they exaggerate it. We are also not saying that the process of uniting our people is concluded. We have never said that. It's an ongoing process. We are rejecting the innuendos. We are rejecting the innuendos that are contained in the motion. If okay. they want that motion to be approved as a motion that is simply calling for us to reinforce our efforts to unite our people and to strengthen the programs to broaden access to services to empower our people economically, there will be no objection to that. We okay. have had motions that were tabled by opposition Thank MPS you. that we have supported. But Thank when you. people use the motions to engage in political propaganda and misinformation, we are going to reject that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Please. The right honorable Prime Minister is confirming that even if there is reason in this house, if a member makes an innuendo that she doesn't like, even if the matter is reasonable, she will act unreasonably. That's a, tra that's a paralysis of things. Continue, please. Honorable Speaker, through you, Honorable Speaker, through you, the job of the government, any government for that matter, is to service its people. When you are servicing your people, you are not doing them an honor. You are doing them the service that you seek office for. So to start saying that we are giving services to everybody, therefore national reconciliation should not be discussed. Should we lie about the fact that our land is in the hands of our colonizers? Should we lie about the fact that the economy is very skewed? Should we lie about the fact that tribalism has taken root to a point where His Excellency the President says young people are the ones promoting tribalism in this country? Let us not be being disingenuous. I want to come to another matter. War veterans. Institutional memory is very important when you are debating this matter. War veterans, the plan war veterans, were not supported by the very same ruling party when they started making the claims for them to be paid. Yes, you were not here, I was here. I was a member of this house. We were a group of probably seven MPs that were saying, hey, we must look at this thing, it could divide the country. Yes, you were not here, where were you? You were at NHG. Wait. Said President Sam Ryoma is on record having said, why should I pay you as if you've gone to the war for a, for a remuneration? But then the, then the thinking went ahead of its time. And we started saying, yes, in other countries, people are also looking at their war veterans. So do not make as if today the matter of war veterans was a government policy accepted. People had to fight for it. And the government was initially against it. The very same way, the very same way, institutional memory, the very same way that the ruling party was against the genocide matter until 2004. Yes, that's the truth. The former ambassador that went to Germany has, has it on record. Read. He says he was instructed in the earlier never to raise the issue of genocide. Hanorum, may his soul rest in peace. Yes. 
So to, you cannot educate me about the genocide issue. Genocide was at the onset never accepted by government. Only president, under the presidency of President Pohamba did President Pohamba considered to start listening to this matter. So don't tell us lies. Tell no lies. Tell us no lies. You can't educate me on the genocide matter. I will educate you. I will educate you. On the point of order, PM? Again, misrepresenting issues in regard to the issue of veterans and in regard to the issue of, of, of genocide. First and foremost, right after independence, the government initiated programs to address the plights of veterans of the liberation struggle. But the programs, the interventions have evolved. Yeah? We had the DBCs, we integrated some of them into the security forces. We had the uh, DBCs, we had the sites, and then we moved. I was even the, the chairperson of site, and then we came on to the new program. So this is a process that has been evolving. Secondly, with regards to genocide, the discussions were initially discussed in certain uh, communities of our people, and the government invited some of the national elders to say, in order for government to be able to properly take this matter up, it should be brought to parliament and a resolution should be passed in order to task the executive to take up the matter. It okay. is not true that there was any opposition. Okay, I, thank you. Mashi, Honorable member, the geopolitical continue. forces, the geopolitical forces in the earlier by Vitor Fonzoel, she was the chairperson of the genocide committee. When Vitor Fonzoel came into this country and made this apology, this issue became an international matter. And that's how our government said, let the motion come here. So the truth would always be truth. Now I want Let's to continue. conclude, Honorable Speaker, that the policy of national reconciliation is very important in a country. I disagree a little bit with Honorable Yambo on the mechanics of saying, if we open up a commission of inquiry, and I'm not afraid of it, I, I, I'm just looking at the time, 30 years after independence, whether it will do us justice. But I support the, the thrust of your motion, saying that even the policy must even be on record. It must be a documented policy. So that when we speak of a policy, what do we mean by national reconciliation? In America, they talk about affirmative action. It's a policy. Point of order. My, my intervention has nothing to do with what the Honorable is talking about. I have an issue with technicality in this hall or in this house. Why is it that only certain images are appearing on those screens and we cannot see the other images? You must, you, uh, very, it's, a very, it's a very important concern. You must be concerned because the Namibians are very concerned with you. Okay. Can, can, I, can, can, I can I deal with that? Can I, I, I've taken note, I've taken note. Because, because I'm on the what, 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 what is happening? Huh? The, the, the ca 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 camera, the camera is, is concentrating on one, on one person. Yeah. Uh, Emmanuel. Right Honorable Speaker. Huh? Okay. We, we, we will deal with that. Please keep, continue. You are very rowdy, my sister. We will deal with that issue. You are Please continue. They have a problem because the cameras are looking at me. Please continue. Please, please, please. Honorable colleagues, we all have a country to salvage. We all have a country to take forward. We all have to dream and think big that our country would resolve its internal conflicts in unison and in peace. As a patriot and a Republican, there is a need for us to start reflecting on the policy of national reconciliation. Where we have made strides, and we should also be candid and truthful, that I grew up in this country before independence. There were loss of life nearly every day because there was a war. We have had peace for the last 30 years, and it's something very commendable. We should commend that. We commend the peace that, is, that this country has seen, but the economic delivery of 
the economic delivery of our rights to the rights of all the citizens of this country warrants